when you're walking down the street. Everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. This is to learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Change the channel. This is the boringest day ever. Can't you think of anything to do, Buster? Buster? I bet that rat's doing something cool without us. Buster! Buster. Where are you? Where are you? what I think he's doing? Maybe we should call the nurse. Calm down, guys. He might not be doing homework. No, no, it's not homework. It's this contest and TV schedule for the Andean Company show. You're supposed to... Oh, no. What time is it? It's starting right now. The contest. when his little sister bothers him. She's like a slave. Shh, TV. If they're animals, does their school serve bugs and garbage for lunch? I'd like to know how a mouse has a pet dog. Wouldn't the dog eat him? Andy's not a mouse. He's a something. I forget. Hey, kids, come up with a story about you and your friends and we'll announce the winner's name right on our show. It could be you. Wow. That is so cool. What story did you write, Buster? Well, like they said, it's a story about us. It's called The Day the Earth Was Saved. Hello! Hello up there! Hey, I'm talking to you! You're all waiting for aliens again. They've got to come sometime. I'm out of here. Yeah, let's go. Arthur! Hey, look, they're here! I told you! Hey, aliens! Over here! Land here! Hurry! Ow. Hey, you squished Buster! Hey, come out! Hey! Let go! Hey, you're not gonna eat me! Hey! It appears that you are too high in cholesterol for them, Arthur. These aliens, so evil, must be health conscious. The Earth is saved! Oh. What happened? Ouch. The end. What do you mean I'm high in cholesterol? I want to write one. When is the contest over? You have to mail it by tomorrow. You don't think aliens would eat me? I'm going to write one, too. I can write a great story about us. We can all get together tomorrow and read them. I'm just as edible as anybody! I mean, I'm writing one too. That was a really cool story, Arthur. Do you want to hang out with us and be our friend? Yeah! Uh, hmm. Well, first you have to win. Why don't you read us your story? Gladly. My Life as a TV Show by Muffy Crosswire. And now, the new fall fashion. Hey, look, it's the fifth Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> Going to happen? Well, time to switch to plan B. 
unbelievable that you do that. I am a jealous person. But kids believe what they see. If kids watch your story, the next time they had a problem, instead of figuring out how to solve it, they might send an evil robot after everyone. That's ridiculous. What kind of kid has an evil robot at home? <whistles> What's your story, Brain? I have a story that's exciting, but won't give kids bad messages. It starts with me in my laboratory. It's my latest formula. It blows hair on anything. I discovered it when I was inventing a new kind of cherry soda. Uh. It works on anything. Why would anybody want hairy carrots? To go with hairy fish. Uh. Like most scientific discoveries, this one is not appreciated. Hey, Brain. Sorry I'm late. Is this your new invention? Yes, it's something useful. It's a new kind of deodorant. That's great, because I ran all the way here and I stink. <gasps> no, stop. Rain, I hate to tell you this, but this new perfume of yours smells awful. Hey, nice couch. <laughs> but Arthur's so embarrassed about the way he looks that he runs off to the woods to hide. <laughs> there he meets Bigfoot. Hair growth formula? See, that not only entertains, it educates. You're right. That's great. Uh, what did I just learn again? It shows how crazy legends start. They aren't really true, but they're based on things that really happen. Francine and I have a better story. I came up with the idea, and Vicky went to the library and did the research to find out the names. The Amazing Bite. The story begins with Arthur in the ring, face to face with Hulk Hogan. Yeah! And now, Arthur will face John L. Sullivan, Floyd Patterson, Barney Ross, and the United Press International. He fights United Press International? Oh, I must have copied that from under the picture. Guess I was on cruise control. Sorry. Maybe he fights a cameraman who gets into the ring because he's trying to get a better picture. Good idea. I don't think it's a good idea to show hitting on a kid's show. I don't think it's a good idea to show hair growth formula on a kid's show. I have a story that has a lot of conflict and drama, but no hitting. It takes place ten years from now, when I'm 18. Arthur, you seem troubled. What is it? Ah, the usual thing. The sister? The sister. Uh-huh. You know, my life is, like, busy. Uh-huh. So last week I have D.W. go and pick up my car while I get the new house. Uh-huh. She gets there and I'm like, where's my car? Uh-huh. Your car was just blah. I traded it in for something much nicer. Ah! So, what do you think? Uh-huh. Oh, it was okay. Mine was much better, of course. Mine was the most dramatic. No, 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 wait, wait. We don't have to decide which one is best. The TV will decide for us. Oh, TV. It knows everything. One, two, three, go! How long before we find out who won? years later. And now, to announce the winner of our story contest, here's Andy! At last! He better pronounce my name right. And the winner is... Holly Holland! <gasps> Holly Holland? That's not one of us. She must be related to somebody. My idea is better than anything Holly Holland came up with. What was her story? Did they say? It doesn't matter. My idea is better than anything Holly Holland came up with. What was your idea? I don't know. It was too long ago. <sighs> what do we do now? Why don't we call Holly Holland? I hear she has great ideas. Hey, I know what we can do. Let's come up with more stories. Without a contest? Don't you remember how much fun we had? Arthur's right. Who cares who won? 
we could write about things that really happened to us. There's only one problem. Nothing's ever happened to us. Are you kidding? What about when we first had Mr. Ratburn? We thought he was a monster. Right. Or when I moved away. I guess you could do something about when I taught Arthur to play baseball. We'd just like to thank everyone who sent in their story ideas for our show. And to thank the kids who came up with our stories today. Jared DeLello of White House Station, New Jersey. Kira Carey of Long Beach, New York. Daniel Hansen of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Corey Baldwin of Hartford, Michigan. And Lauden Boulangia of Kewaskum, Wisconsin. And of course, Holly Holland of Canadian, Oklahoma, who had the idea for a show about a contest. Although my story was the best. You didn't even write it. It was the performance. You yeah, have the line from the best. See you later. I know what you're thinking. You're wondering what causes night and day. Very simple. During the day, we see the sun in the sky, right? That's because in daytime, the part of the Earth that we're on is facing the sun. We are right here, sunny. But the Earth rotates, so we move away from the sun. See? And it gets dark where we are because the other side of the Earth is now facing the sun. Brain, what are you doing? Explaining how the rotation of the Earth causes day and night. Why are you wasting your time? They don't understand what you're talking about. Of course they do. They're a lot smarter than you think. Would you like to hear about gravity? <laughs> Prove it! Arthur! Shh! On Nova. Crazy for dinosaurs. Arthur! Dad! DW is about to bother us! I didn't even say anything! I know you. You're gonna start asking, what are you watching? What's that? What's happening? Please don't bother them, D.W. They're watching a show for school. What are they watching? What's that? What's happening? <laughs> Muffy lost her mother's expensive P.E.M. Her what? If you spell stuff, I can't understand what you're talking about. That's exactly why we spell stuff. <laughs> Buster's mom said she'd drive us to the theater. What movie are you going to see? 5,000 Explosions and a Supernova. It's got science in it, okay? I want to go, too. You wouldn't understand it. Would so. Just because I haven't gone to school and learned all the stuff that you learned doesn't mean I'm not as smart as you. Yes, it does. It's not fair. I'm smart and everybody treats me like I'm Kate or something. Hi, Alan. Who are you talking to? Me. My name's Alan. Oh, right. Alan, did you always know you were smart? D.W., we're trying to do homework. We've got 50 more math problems to do, so don't bug us. It's okay, I'm done. I'll keep her out of your hair. Come on, D.W., let's play a game. You know what would be fun? Let's watch Nova. You really think that's fun? Arthur never lets me watch with him. He thinks I'm too dumb. On Nova, a mystery in the icy depth. The chance. I've seen I always the thought water, science was just a lot of people sitting and thinking. Oh, no. Science is all action. One person develops a theory, another person dares them to prove it, then they struggle to develop dramatic experiments to prove they're right. Being right is so cool. See? It's magnetized. It always points north. That's how you make a compass. Whoa. And that tells what time it is by where the sun is in the sky. Exactly. Well, I finally finished. Wow, Arthur. It took you... more than a half hour longer than Alan to do the same exact homework. Why don't you go play catch with Kate? Brain and I are going to play together now. Actually, it's time for me to go home. See ya, Arthur. Bye, D.W. I hope you didn't bother the brain. <laughs> Have you noticed that Kate throws her food, but she tries to eat her play ball? Fascinating. The brain and I were trying to do our homework this afternoon, and D.W. kept bothering him. D.W. Arthur is not correct. I can prove it with one phone call to Alan. Dad, could I have a little more H2O? What? That's the formula for water. I know that. 
I didn't know you knew that. H2O, that's very impressive, DW. Ah, uh, she just heard me say it. She's like a parrot. No, I'm as smart as you. <laughs> Is it okay if I go to the Science Center Exploratorium with Brain and his mom on Sunday? <gasps> that's the place where you see how things work and stuff. I want to go too. No, they don't want little kids like you in there. Prove it. I bet they'd be happy that a smart kid like me is interested in stuff. Make him take me. Make him. Oh, she can't go. Mom, Dad. Well, sweetheart, it might be boring for you. I'm too smart to get mad. Arthur, my theory is someday you're going to be begging to go to the Explorerium with me. Wow, I thought she was going to come running back in all mad. Maybe you underestimate your sister, Arthur. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Dad. What are you guys doing? We're in line. Oh. In line for what? Step right this way and prepare to fill your brains with... Excuse me, son. Ticket, please. I don't have a ticket. Sorry. Ticket holders only. Wow. Unbelievable. What's going on back there? All right. How much is a ticket? For kids younger than seven, 50 cents. For brothers over the age of seven, five bucks. What? No way am I giving you five bucks. Oh, wow, wow, look at that. DW. I have 73 cents, a ring that goes whoo when you blow it, a sticker of a horse that got torn in half and all I have is the back end, and a sour ball I borrowed from Buster. Okay. Welcome to DW's Explainerorium. All the mysteries of the world prove with real science experiments. Who can tell me how to make water? Mm, my hand's higher. No, mine. Ah, Timmy, you were first. I can raise my hand higher. Fine. But how do we make water? I don't know, but I can raise my hand higher. The formula for water is H2O. The O means oxygen. That's air. This bucket is full of air. See? The H stands for hose. So, I turn on the hose, which combines H with O, and makes water. Ooh. Hold it. That's not right. Prove it. There's water in the hose. That's it. Water <laughs> in the hose. Right. You haven't proven your theory. Yet I have filled the bucket with water. Who should we believe? <laughs> of your head is filled with miles and miles of hair. Once all of it grows out of the holes in your head, then you're bald. That's not how hair works. Then how does it work? Uh, you know, uh, it hurts more to fall on your knees than your behind because bones are sensitive and your behind's not. No bones. Why snakes have no feet? A gazillion years ago, snakes used to have feet. But they ran so fast to escape dinosaurs that they fell off. Wow! Right. No two snowflakes are alike because the guy running the factory can't remember how to do it because it's so complicated. Rather than just fire him, we get these crazy snowflakes. Why is the sky blue? Because brown was already taken by dirt. Green was already taken by grass. Yellow by bananas and red by apples. D.W. The sky is blue because air particles reflect blue light. Prove it. Well, you prove yours. Is dirt brown? Is grass green? Are bananas yellow? Is the sky blue? She's right again. Oh. Wind is made by tree blowing. Look, they're going... You have to explain to her that she just can't make stuff up and call it science. Look out! That tree's blowing on you! This is terrible! Tiny little kids believe what she says! Hey, this is great! I never knew that the ocean was made by sand moving away from the beach so fast that it turns to liquid. No! Buster, she's making it up! Really? Some of it sounds right. I can follow my behind all day and never feel a thing. Then the sun runs out of gas and turns off. And it's night. Actually, day and night are caused by the rotation of the Earth. Oh, yeah? Prove it. 
I can't exactly prove it, but other people have. It's in books and museums. I don't believe you. You can't prove it because you're wrong. I know how we can prove she's wrong. They have all this stuff at the Exploratorium. Mom, Dad, can I please take D.W. to the Exploratorium with us tomorrow? You want to take D.W. with you? Yes, please. Tell her she has to go. experiments were wrong? I only had one experiment, Arthur. I said one day you'd beg to take me here, and here I am. My experiment was a complete success. I proved I'm smarter than you. Did what I think happen, happen? Maybe she's a lot smarter than we think. A smart DW? <sighs> I don't know if the world is ready for that. And I say, hey.